the Lord wanted me to make this video for you guys. For some of you guys out there uh, looking for something worthy to invest into, well, the best thing that you can invest into is the kingdom of God. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Don't get it backwards now. God does not need your money. You need to pay your tithes and offerings and offer to God. It's a privilege. You, you should be honored to be able to give give to the kingdom of God. I mean, that's that's the greatest honor there is because he gives you power, strength, a, a, a great brain and a mind to go and earn wealth and earn money. And what and what gr greater way than to to give it back to to his kingdom? You know, showing him that you are a grateful child and that you appreciate giving you life and, and comfort, especially living here in America and all the wonderful things God does for you. You know, giving you a roof over your head. You're able to take a shower every day. You can eat where you want, go where you want. So you you can never outgive God. And when you're paying your tithes and offerings and things like that, God will honor that and he will he will bless you more than you can contain you know it ain't about just giving God money as a tithe you could tithe with your time you know and then it's not about how much you give it's it's the it's it's coming from your heart God looks at your heart you know you're giving your best you know that's what God looks at are you giving your best and don't give God your your scraps either don't give don't tip God you give God his off top first fruits God don't want your scraps so before you pay bills or anything else you make sure you pay God first you show God that you trust him with your finances and that you trust him with everything so forget your bills and all that you pay God first and then and then all that other stuff you pay after him because he's the great supplier he can meet all your needs he can make it so that your bills get paid you know it's all it's all by faith you know it's a, it, it's it's like a test in itself anyway where God is he's only asking you for 10 percent you know and he's not even really asking it's 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 something you supposed to do anyway you get to keep 90 so you either can do it God's way and go ahead and pay him his 10 percent that you owe him off top or the devil is gonna come along and take your 100 percent he gonna take your 10 percent and your 90 percent because we are in an unfair world and what God does is offer a helping hand in this unfair world that's pretty much what it is because the devil comes to do a few things kill steal, and destroy and God is the restrainer so if you think you're a big boy or you're a big girl and you don't need God you're pretty much on your own out there against that roaring lion called Satan and he's looking he's going around looking for who he can destroy who finances he can destroy and who whose lives he can destroy so it's all up to you so God putting that tithing system in there is really a blessing for us because he's the king, he has all the wealth, he has everything. So it's an honor and a, and a privilege to be able to, to plug into the kingdom of God. And then, I mean, God is just like, just blessing our socks off anyway. Because Christ is up there building you a mansion and setting you a place up there in heaven. You know, and then, and then you know, the, the past, some of these pastors or, or ministries that's doing full-time ministry, they don't have a nine-to-five job. Their job is serving God. So when you're going into their churches or their ministries and you're getting you getting the word of God and you're getting you getting fed, you get you get knowledge and you're getting all these all these things taught to you for your benefit and for your blessings, you're supposed to pay them. You suppose I mean, because they have to be sustained. We live in a world where you have to pay bills and they got bills to pay. They don't have a job. Their job is delivering you the word of God. And so the workman is is worth what he's doing. So you make sure you support those who are feeding you spiritually, you know, because they're they're living off your tithes and offerings. And then what what you don't what you don't give, God will supply the rest to them anyway. So it, it you will be blessed to help the man and the woman of God. And it's not beggars or begging. I I myself I don't need anything from you. I'm not asking for a donation, but I'm speaking for those ministers that put in their work out there. They they are wor they are worthy of their work is what I'm trying to say. And by you blessing the man and the women of God, God will bless you back more than you can contain anyway. And more than you can handle and more than you can bless. More than you can do. 
So it's a win-win situation for you anyway. But that shouldn't be the motivation. You shouldn't be giving to the men and women of God or giving to the kingdom of God just because you want to get a blessing back from God. That shouldn't be your heart. You give. God don't even want your tithes and offerings or anything from you if you're going to give it begrudgingly. He don't want it. He wants you to give it to him with a cheerful heart, as a cheerful giver. That's what God wants. He wants your best, and he wants his off top. Now the next the next picture I'm going to show you is some verses talking about tithing and tithes and offerings. You can go look up more for yourself, but these are the ones I have for you right here for you to check out. Now I know there's some wolf ministries out there that's robbing the people of their money and scamming the people. But don't worry, God is going to judge them 10 times worse, probably worse than a Satanist because they are having his name and desecrating his name and stuff like that. So what God does sometimes, well, a lot of times God doesn't speedily judge the wicked. He lets them keep doing whatever they're doing because all they're doing is setting their level of punishment on that side. And they're not going to want to be in the hands of the living God. I tell you, that is a terrible terrible place to be if you if you're on his bad side so i'm going to point some some really good ministries to you that that uh that have earned my trust and uh it's about three it's about three or four of them the first one the first one i'm going to begin with is uh brie keaton brie of brie keaton ministries she was called by god a uh, simple thing he said go save the pygmies the lord said that to her and so she's over there in the congo africa doing just that uh, there's a there's a, a group of uh, very small people. Uh, they're not midgets, but they're just they're just small people, I guess, because of nutrition. They're in the Congo, they're in the Congo of Africa, and they're called the pygmies. And the people over there in Africa are treating these people very bad. And the rebel soldiers there are shooting these these little people and eating them for food. So God seen that from heaven and he sent Brie Keaton over there to go save them and win them to the Lord and build shelters for them and and uh, teach them all kind of things and teach them how to be Christians. So these these little people are very are very precious to the Lord. And Brie Keaton, since she's been there, she's had all types of miracles happen. Uh, she's had rebel soldiers shoot at her. She had uh, rebel soldiers aim their weapons at her and she say uh, the word of God at them and the bullets not even touch her. All types of miracles like that. So that's, she has one of the ministries that I trust and recommend. Next is Sharon Westbury. Sharon, Sharon Westbury is a very prophetic woman. Uh, very, very uh, sweet, humble and blessed. Uh, she's given many personal prophecies that, that have come true. And um, she's a woman of God. And, that is someone that ministry that I recommend Sharon Westbury Sharon Westbury's ministry. Uh, next up is uh, Pastor Masi from Pakistan. It, he he uh, represents a persecuted church um, over in Pakistan. Uh, there's like three percent Christians there, so the Christians there are getting slaughtered by the Muslim majority. Um, they're getting burned alive and. Um, Murdered, all kind of, all kind of things happening to the Christians over there in Pakistan. Uh, Pastor Masi talks about how the uh, Muslims accuse the Christians of tearing up pages out of the Quran or something like that, and so the Muslims were uh, getting the Christians and uh, killing them and going into churches, bringing the crosses out and uh, doing all kind of stuff, uh, bringing the crosses out, breaking them in the streets of these Christian churches and, and pretty much daring the Lord to do something about it and they had killed a bunch of Christians so on that same I guess that same day fire started coming from out of nowhere and burned up like 40,000 Muslims in Pakistan and at the same time in Mecca burned up like uh, 70,000 or so I think he said a great number so God got at them pretty hardcore and you didn't hear that in your six o'clock news so that's a testimony right there and many testimonies from Pastor Mercy uh, as a Christian living in Pakistan. And he's a very humble man and he gives uh, prophecies and the Lord speaks through him and uses him mightily. He also has another um, website about loving the Muslims and how he wins them over to Jesus and stuff like that. Real powerful ministry. Um, that's Pastor Pastor Masih. You'll, you'll see because I got the picture up and everything. 
Uh, next up is uh, the Prophecy Club. The Prophecy Club, um, they're given the um, prophetic warning, um, the warning call to America to repent and turn to Jesus so that God can save America in the day of trouble. And they provide materials and um, resources uh, to give you what you need um, concerning Bible prophecy and, and, and uh, doing well in the last days and stuff like that. Uh, prophecyclub.com uh, they have many videos on YouTube from the Prophecy Club a really good prophetic ministry uh, ran by Stan Johnson and Leslie Johnson the prophet who has been accurate on all her prophecies some are still pending but many have um, taken place so those are some good ministries that I recommend right there but what I would recommend to you is that you pray about it you pray about what ministry you need to plug into and what and what uh, uh, where he wants you to invest in the kingdom. So uh, that being said, God bless you all and have a blessed day.